Sea of Thieves is here everyone, welcome to Sea of Thieves, the first episode in a brand new series, Solo Sea of Thieves, we're going to be taking down the mighty, mighty pirates of the oceans, I'm going to be doing it solo, I'm going to be showing you how to raid people, how we're going to come up on the upper hand, now this game really does need playing in multiplayer, so I'm going to be doing that with my rat bag crew, and I think it's the best way to play this game, but... For you solo players out there, I think there's going to be a need to show you how to do things, how to win, how to be a pirate, all by yourself. Right, the character selection is important. You can randomise your characters. You can't exactly pick exactly what you want, but you can randomise to get loads and loads of different variations. I am going for a female, because you know what? A sad, sad state of affairs. It still appears in games that if you're a female character in a multiplayer game, you normally get more attention and we're going to use that to my advantage hopefully if we get attacked hopefully if we get abducted i may be able to trick my abductors into letting me go because i'm female we'll see we'll see if that works we've got our equipment i'm not going to mess around with this too much i'm sure you've seen lots of basics from it but basically you eat your banana you get lots of health and there you go, my health has been fully replenished. I've got my two weapons, and that's it. The weapons that you get or unlock in Sea of Thieves do not give you any additional abilities. There's no perks, there's no system to upgrade your weapons. Everyone has the basic cutlass and a basic gun. Now you can get different skins for these guns and swords, but they're purely cosmetic only. So, first thing we need to do is greet our traders. Hurrah, me arties. Let's set off on a very basic one. So, you can see there, we have to gain promotions. The more promotions you get, the more involved the quests get and the more loot that you'll get. So, we've got a few different ones here. And these are all initiation voyages, so it doesn't really matter which one you choose, just what one you think you'd like the look of. So, a bundle swiped by the pitiful Pinch It Finch. A nest egg hoarded by the pitiful Bucko Betts, or swag plundered by the pitiful Looting Lowbacks. We're going to go with this one. And that is it. Once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. Now, there are other merchant traders as well. The order welcomes you. Make sure you get every single one of these so that you can start from the best place possible. We're going to go for the crew of the Night Lady. And then lastly, we've also got the Merchant Crew. Now these ones are a bit more involved. The first two one factions or orders have you going to go get treasure chests, bring them back to an outpost, or going to kill a certain type of pirate and then come back. These ones are fetch and carry quests and you have to take care of the items that you're carrying or delivering. So... Unlock all three with all three orders, and that's it. That is the basics of the game. You're going to be doing this a lot, and it might seem a little bit less. It might not seem that there's much more in it. But there is going to be emergent quests as they happen as you play the game. Once you're set sailing, get on your ship. And away you go to a life of plundering as a pirate. Now, before you do that, you do need to set what mission you're going to be taking on. You can see here, here's the world map of exactly where we are. The shores are plenty. The map is very, very large indeed. It's broken up into three distinct areas. You've got the shores are plenty, the wilds, and then you've got the ancient isles at the bottom here. Now go over here and propose your voyage. And obviously when you're on your own, it will just be you. We're going to go straight away from one of the new ones. Let's go and see if we can attack one of these pirate bone skeleton dudes. And now all we need to do is start our sail and our journey. Now with the sloop you can access the world map just by looking down on it. So it's a lot quicker and easier. And we're going to change our points. Let's lower that down. Now, once you've set sail, you need to check your actual map to give the clue, see where it is on the actual big one. We're going to just use the wheel load just to make sure we're not going into any more rocks. And there we go. We're away. 
Now I've spoken about the basics, it really is just a case of enjoying and playing the game. If for some reason you're left in the water, maybe you've been kicked off your own boat, maybe people are have attacked you, don't worry too long. In fact, swim the opposite away. If you can't catch up with your boat, the quicker you do this, the quicker you will get teleported back. Because of these guys, the mermaids. Swim towards them as quickly as you can. And there you go, you return to your ship with no danger or loss. Now it does seem to be getting a little bit choppy. Now let's take a look at the map. Seeking knowledge hidden in skull and bone, revolving untold whispers protected by foe. Known for protecting, protecting twin groves. So that's where we've got to get to then. And let's take a look at the world map and see where twin groves is so we can put a waypoint. And there you go, there's the twin groves. I think that's going to be a good bearing. We'll take a look over our side and that's going to be perfect as long as we stay on that course. South eastern approach. Now let's check the wind. Now the wind's good. We've got a good full bellows. We could probably angle it just a little bit more. Just to make real full use. There you go. And we've caught the sails. And that's important to turn them sails exactly where the wind's blowing. Obviously to make yourself go faster. Now at any point you can go and explore any of the other islands. You don't have to just set sail for your task. But I would suggest the very early stages you do this. Playing through the beta and everything I've read up online says it's well worth doing that just to get your reputation up a little bit better so that you can unlock longer quests. And you'll find that you'll visit most of these islands with the bigger, massive, more involved quests. And this is going to take us into a nice trajectory. Nice and slow. One more look at the map. And boom. Let's pull that that way. And I think I think we could probably think about putting the the anchor down. Now it looks like a bit of a shipwreck. We'll check that shipwreck out in a second, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be on these little rocks here. Unless we've already gone past it. Twin groves, now there we are. We're here. Right. Put the anchor down. And there we go. Now you could probably get a bit closer, but if you do damage your boat, you're obviously going to take damage, and that's what you don't want to do. Make sure you've got all, everything fully equipped. And let's go and see if we can take on, find this uh, first first pirate. There's a storm brewing over there. Ho, 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 it's a pirate's life for me. Now hopefully he's around here. If he's not, we'll go and investigate that sunken ship. Maybe that's where he is. So that seems to be where you'd find like a, a boat full of dead pirates. Which is what we're kind of after right now. But you never know. There may be an opportunity. Oh! Hello! Oh! Get away, you bony men! Oh, there's quite a few of them. No, get away. Thank you very much. They look like me. After a day of recording and I've not been eating well. Oh, okay. More and more. More and more. There's quite a few of them. There is quite a few of them. More than I thought. This may be a bit of a challenge. May need to get myself a banana and learn to defend a little bit more. Where's that last one? I can hear someone. I want bananas?
Okay, right, good. Oh, I can hear someone behind me. I thought it was someone, maybe it wasn't someone. The music is pretty bombastic. Oh, we've got more bananas, yeah, we'll have them. I need pellets for my gun, that's what I need. Hello, mate! Hello! There we go. Now that was a held charge cutlass attack. It takes a few seconds, you've got to really time it. Oh, here he is! Gonna put Oh no, we're not gonna put a bullet in him. Shit! Quick, I need I need some shots. No, I don't need that. Okay, this isn't gonna work. Oh, they're swarming me, they're swarming me. We've got to thin them out a little bit. There's chickens here. Yeah, get away. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Now, just kind of don't let up with them. Boom! He's gone! We defeated our first captain! It does appear we have to get back to our ship. We can't do anything else. We can't even eat a, uh, a banana. Right, now we're going to hide this. Now, you don't have to just go and hide it in your brick. You can come up with some ingenious places where to put stuff. Most people won't necessarily be looking around your whole ship when they're looking for loot. Especially early on in the game. You can actually place it anywhere you want. So as long as it's going to stay there, you can go ahead and place it there. And it will stay there. Right, now let's make sure I've got a banana, just in case, for any reason, we get attacked. Okay, since we're here, let's go and investigate that actual sunken treasure over there. Let's make sure we've got some ammo. Now let's go and take a look at this sunken treasure. What lurks beneath, what treasures, what jewels. Ooh, the wreck of the hangman's fate. Now you have got to be careful, you have, uh, haven't have got unlimited breath, so you will need to be measuring exactly how far you can go underwater and get stuff. So we're going to try and go and hold here, see what is to be had. Got bananas, there must be some sort of treasure somewhere. Yes, we've got a treasure chest. Now, getting through is a bit problematic. And we are taking damage in the set, and we're going to be if we don't get some air. And there we go. Right, let's take this back on board. So the best thing to do when you're doing a small mission, if you do come across anything like that, always go and investigate it, as long as it doesn't take you out of your route or your way. If you really want to get to legendary status, it's about how quickly you can do some of these missions, some of these bounties. So you don't necessarily want to be mucking around too long going around trying to chase stuff, particularly when you're a single player. While it's fun going and pirating other vessels, other crews, on your own, your real big fault is to go and get this stuff as quickly as possible. So, we've got our skull up there. This is just a bonus chest. We're going to put the bonus chest down here like we normally would with anything else. And there we go. Right, let's set our course. And away we go. We're going to turn directly around. And then while that's doing that, I'll set the sail length full of beam. Just adjusting everything as we go. We definitely need to go a little bit more that way now. I've gone too far. That was easily done. And just as the sun sets on our first adventure, we come back to our outposts to deliver our bounty, our goods, and claim our reward. 
Now we've got it relatively easy at the moment. There's no one here, there's no other ships. It's very early stages. If you do come across some other pirates, nefarious crews, think about what you can do. You could grab the treasure, jump off your boat and set the boat on course. So hopefully they'll go after the boat or you can sneak onto the outpost island. That could be a decent tactic. We'll swing around a little bit, just like that. Now, let's go and get the actual skull first. Oh, don't alert, don't alert everyone to my presence, are you mad? And here we are, about to deliver our first bounty and reward. And don't forget we've got that bonus chest. Definitely worth your time trying to do at least one bonus sort of thing before you head back. And here we are, take the loot. Thank you very much. So I'm going to pick up another one and always have a bounty available in case you want to switch things up while you're on a actual mission. Now it probably is worth gathering as many quests as you can, but remember you can only hold three. Now let's go back to the boat and pick up our treasure. Now with your bonus chest that you get, you do need to sell them all to the Golden Horde. You can see the gold hoard's reputation has increased massively just through that one chest. And there we go, that is our first journey into a Sea of Thieves. The first one's always going to be a little bit, you know, regular, and maybe a little bit even boring if you've played the beta yourself. You probably know what to do. But it set us on a journey, and if you've not seen Sea of Thieves, hopefully I'll give you an insight into what it's mostly going to involve. Like I said, the solo life isn't really the full main basis of the game. It is meant to be enjoyed as a multiplayer experience. But I still think there could be some fun had in solo play, particularly when we start seeing a few more ships and there's a bit more activity and we've got more players around. So hopefully that's where the fun's going to come from. I'm going to do some little missions now and try and get my rank up to number 5 and I'll keep recording and if we come across anyone hopefully we can um, start a little battle. Because I do believe in the distance there is a ship. <laughs> 